Now we will see one problem which is related to the power consumption, resistance, peak voltage and RMS current. See the problem statement is like this. A light bulb is rated 100 watts means the power consumption by the light bulb material is 100 watts for a 220 volt supply. The voltage supplied to that power of uh, the bulb is 220 volts. Then with regard of this information we should find out the resistance of the bulb or the peak voltage of the source V, M and the RMS current through the bulb. It follows these steps. First one, what is the power? 100 watts. What is the voltage supply? 220 volts. First bit, the resistance of the bulb. Resistance of the bulb. What is the relationship between P, V, R? We know that P is equal to VI. And I am converting I is equal to V by R. Therefore, P is equal to V square by R. From this expression we can write R is equal to V square by P. So V is there, P is there. If we substituted these two values from the given information, we can find out the R. Sometimes we, sh we need to modify the standard formulas to get these values. So modification was over, modified is over, then we should find out the R. Therefore R is equal to V, 220 and V square means 220 square by P 100 484 0 0 by 100 cancel therefore R is equal to 484 ohms first bit was over see the second bit the peak voltage of the source peak voltage nothing but Vm. We know that Vrms is equal to Vm by root 2. Therefore, Vm is equal to Vrms into root 2. What is the Vrms value? 220 volts. What is root 2? 1.414. Therefore, Vmax or peak voltage is 311 volts. The last bit is RMS current through the bulb. Cuts. The last bit of the problem RMS current. We know that P is equal to IV, therefore I is equal to P by V. So, what is the P? 100. What is the RMS voltage? 220. 10 by 22 approximately we will get 0 0.450 amperes. This is I RMS current through the bulb. Now we will see one problem which is related to the inductors. A pure inductor of 25 milli Henry, the SI unit of the inductance is Henry, okay, is connected to a source of 220 volts, voltage is 220. Find the inductive reactance and RMS current in the circuit if the frequency of the source is 50 Hz. The answer is like this. First one, first write down what are the physical quantities present in the problem. Inductor of 25 milli Henry. Nothing but 25 into 10 to the power of minus 3 Henry. Source of voltage 220 volts. Find the inductive reactance omega L is equal to XL is equal to how much? Where XL is nothing but the inductive reactance and RMS current I RMS. These two we should find out. Now how to solve this one? First of all we are going to find out the inductive reactance.
therefore x l is equal to omega l where omega is equal to 2 pi f f means frequency the frequency is 50 hertz therefore 2 into pi is equal to 3.14 frequency is 50 hertz and uh, inductance is equal to 25 into 10 to the power of minus 3 if you substitute all the things 2 into 50 100 100 into 25 2500 2500 into 3.14 by 1000 we will get 7.85 ohms this is the inductive reactance we know that inductive reactance is similar to the resistance in dimensions and units this is 7.85 what is the next bit to find out rms current i rms is equal to v rms by inductive reactance inductive reactants therefore i rms is equal to what is v rms 220 volts inductive reactants 7.85 ohms we will get 28 amperes So these are the values which we are find with the given information. Now we will see the behavior of AC voltage which is applied to a capacitor. AC voltage applied to a capacitor. Take a parallel plate capacitor which is connected to a AC source now what is the purpose of the capacitor capacitor always stores the charge we know that the capacitance is equal to QV therefore the voltage across the capacitor is uh, we know that Q by C Therefore, according to the Kirchhoff's loop rule, we can say that summation over voltage with respect to time is zero. Loop rule. We are applying this zero to the capacitance. Therefore, we know that V is equal to Q by C. V is equal to Vm sin omega t is equal to Q by C. From this we can write Q is equal to Cvm sin omega t. Current I is equal to dQ by dt. Therefore I am finding the I by differentiating the Q value with respect to time. cvm sin omega t now the differentiation will be like this the thing is that i is equal to d by dt of cm omega t what is sin omega t omega cos omega t therefore omega c vm cos omega t we can write i is equal to omega c vm cos omega t is equal to we can write sin omega t plus pi by 2 and we can write i is equal to omega c vm sin omega t plus pi by 2 continue now we can write i is equal to im 
sin omega t plus pi by 2. I am comparing this I m with omega c v m. Therefore, I m is equal to omega c v m. We should write I m is equal to v m by r. Therefore, I am transforming to that form v m by 1 by omega c. V m by what is this 1 by omega c? It is in the place of resistance, but in case of capacitors, it is called as a capacitive reactance. Capacitive reactance. Therefore, the symbol of the capacitance reactive is Xc is equal to 1 by omega c. One important thing we should note in this question is we got V is equal to Vm sin omega t. But I is equal to Im sin omega t plus pi by 2. Here voltage lags by pi by 2 with respect to the current. That means R we can write current leads by pi by 2 with respect to the AC voltage through capacitors. Now we will see write this solution, the, write this relation as well as the phasor diagram and power concept. Now we will see the phase relationship. We got V is equal to Vm sin omega t. But we got I is equal to Im sin omega t plus pi by 2 through the capacitor. So current leads by pi by 2 with respect to the voltage when an AC voltage is passing through the capacitor. So what is the phasor diagram? Or we can write uh, current leads by pi by 2 when compared to voltage. Voltage when an AC voltage is supplied to a capacitor. voltage is supplied to the capacitor. Now, what is the phasor diagram? It will be like this. Let us write this is V. But current leads by pi by 2. Therefore, from here onwards we can write I. This is I. So therefore it is 0, pi, 2 pi, 3 pi, 4 pi, through omega t as an axis. So it is uh, like this. So here it is 0, here it is pi, here it is 2 pi, here it is 3 pi and continue. So this is the phasor diagram solution and phasor diagram representation of V and I when an AC voltage is passing through the capacitors. Now we should find out the power consumption in the capacitor when an AC voltage is passing through it. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.